Some people think that Don Mara would make a fine state senator. Well, some people are dead wrong. Last year, Mara voted yes on Measure 23, cutting $2 million from the city education budget. For two years in a row, he voted against state funding to help find puppies' homes. And he wasn't even born in this country. Oh yeah, he's a vampire. So if you're interested in having a blood-sucking, transmogrifying foreigner represent you in the state senate, vote for Don Marrow. But if you want a human being who believes in old-fashioned family values and doesn't eat children, vote Bennett. Hi, I'm Woodrow Bennett, and I approve this message. But I don't approve of people sucking blood, especially yours. The nerve of this guy. Well, it's oh not my gosh. This is what we're going to do. We're going to release undead. a statement need, denying a any vampire? involvement hey, with the undead. We need to you do get on the phone, you you're going to okay. talk to Julie. At, uh, I'm going to call Julie right, right away. We got Brian. Brian. We got Brian. religious Brian. people right away. You this call Sheila. I, Sheila. One of you needs to send an uh, email. Guys, an email. Guys, guys. Yeah, okay. an email with campaign. This is slanderous. It's true. It's true. Wait. What? Wait, what do you mean? It's true. This. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Come on. Uh huh. Sir. And uh, I'm the mummy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we got work to do. Okay. Well, again, get a hold of Tim. Tim and Ryan. I think he's serious, you guys. I... Sir, if I may, how come? How come this is just now coming out? Don. Hmm. How come this is just now coming out? I don't know. I didn't think. Uh, I, did, uh, I didn't think it was going to be a big issue. I... Well, I think it's going to be an issue. Am I concerned about a vampire in the Senate? Damn straight I am. If we elect a vampire, what's next? Frankenwolf? You know, if he lied about the vampire thing, who knows how many other lies he's told? Well, there's been an awful lot of mud slinging lately, so we're just kind of laying low here for right now. He's my husband, of course I support him. <laughs> Till death do us part, right? So what if he's immortal? Carol's been great. Mm. Huh? Oh. Yeah. oh, okay. I don't know where I would be without her, honestly. I remember before we got married, I was, uh... <laughs> I was sleeping with, uh six or seven succubus whores a night. <laughs> He's my hero. <laughs> and this is so much better. <laughs> I've, I've been working on this little tribute to him right here. Uh, uh, this right here is when it was his first city council and um, th these were his assistants at the time, Brian and Bonnie. <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't know what ever happened to them. Ooh. Um, and we love children. Dawn, Dawn is just, is just wonderful with, with kids. We have, we have Azriel and, mm -hmm. and, and Burgos. Oh, very good, and honey. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we'd love to adopt more. We just, it's, we just have to see, you know, what's going to happen now. We're going to disarm our opponent by embracing reality. Is Dawn a vampire? Yes. Okay, he is. Does he sleep in a coffin? Whose business is it? If he does, does he have a soul? Is that an appropriate question to ask a politician? Okay, let's focus on what's real, what the issues are. He's got fantastic ideas about childcare. And I'm here to tell you, Mr. John Q. Public and Miss Jane T. United States of America, that I will be here to serve you until the end of time itself. Seriously. I can't die, so be a long time. <laughs> I really do not know who to vote for because after all, he is a demon of the night and responsible for the death of four of my hogs, not to mention my pappy. However, you do have to, you know, respect a man who stands up and says, you know, y'all just 
screw you. Stand up. Deal with it. Dude, it's like Blade or something. No, Center of Blade. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Haley did an absolutely outstanding job. If it weren't for her, we would not be where we are now. Haley! <laughs> Give it up, Haley! My mentor. Thank you. Well, you know, I just hope I did enough, because it's, it's going to be neck and neck up until tomorrow night. Oh. I just said neck and neck. Oh, no, don't you dare go there! <laughs> I totally went there. I, 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 I totally went there. I feel bad. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, you guys got the signs for tomorrow. Oh, Aaron, why did you bring those in here? Okay. You skinny little fool! What is it? The anonymous tip directed press to the local gay bar, High Bear Nation, where challenger Woodrow Bennett was photographed in a very compromising position. Will this be enough of a catalyst for incumbent Don Merrow to scrape by? We'll find out tomorrow. Melanie Scheisenhofer, KSTD, Channel 9. Yes! We got him! Oh! We got him. I got steaks in the garage, I got holy water from the church, but I ain't got nothing to keep them tooty fruities away from my kids. Let's let's rally behind this freaking godless vampire. Let's yeah, let's rally behind him, because I mean that's what it's all about. It's, a, it's GD ridiculous. It, F I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gay and I cuss. But look at the alternative! Standing tall. American bat, you got a problem with that, you hemophobic SOB. Yes, a vampire fights all through the night for everything you hold is true. When some see darkness, I see my job is keeping it together for me and you. Cause when it's morning in America and the dawn's light streaks the sky, the proud blood of a nation You can hold your neck up high. And when you're soaring with a vampire And the light comes shining through And the time is right Yes, you know I'll fight For that good old red The deep dark 